Well, let's do a little bit of a tour of the shop. This is what I have so far. And I think it looks pretty good. Got lots of things I could do to change it, but those will come in time. First thing I'm going to do is probably sometime this spring is change out this little walkway going up and get rid of these little blocks and put some concrete in there. And I have to fasten the concrete to the foundation down here so that it doesn't heave in the winter time when we get lots of cold weather. Anyway, so walking into the shop, this is the first thing you see. Looks pretty good. This is my uh, junk area over here, first of all. This is kind of an accumulation spot where things that don't really have a home go. But uh, I want to replace these roll-up doors with some actual insulated garage doors. I got a quote on that. It's just going to be some time before I can get it. And here's the door area where you come in. Got some storage there next to it. That's the uh, power panel behind the box that I built to hide that. So that looks pretty good. Still got some insulation showing. Got some stuff I got to finish. I don't want to close that up up there until I get some fans hung in here. This was my pandemic project here. I'll give you a little closer look here in a sec, but all these cabinets got built during the pandemic. But uh, this is the first cabinet right here, and it's just kind of housing some uh, not so often used tools, but uh, they're out there when I need them. And uh, got the full extension drawer slides on all the, all the doors and drawers. Got my miter saw station. I didn't put any T-tracks or anything in the uh, bench top. I just use clamps and things of that nature whenever I need to have a stop. This is the main workbench area right here. I'm really happy with this and how it all turned out. Got me a little drill station over there that I built out of some scrap. I built a lot out of the scrap that I had left over after I did all these cabinets. Still got my pegboard up here with all my commonly used tools hanging on it. Come over here to the other side of the L. There's my toolbox. Got all my screw storage. Pretty well organized now. As you can see, a lot of it's labeled. This was a good idea right here, getting this cutting board, if you will. It kind of gives me a, sta a little station where I can get nasty and dirty and not screw up the top of my... Uh, my bench top but again here's the toolbox kind of found a home for that this is um, again kind of a catch-all storage area I got the bike trailer hiding in there got some scrap wood over here out of the way more storage back in the corner going all the way up got the shelving unit with all the stuff on it over here is my air conditioner heater. I built a little box to go around that to, so I could put an additional filter in there. I saw that online. A guy did that with his unit just to help keep the sawdust out of there. Down here is a project <clears throat> in works right now. That is the uh, office that I'm building in the house. These are the file cabinets and drawer cabinets that are going to go in there. Just started putting those together. Got my wood storage right here. Down here at the end, we got uh, my locker full of paint and chemicals. It's a plastic locker, so probably not the best thing to put all that kind of stuff in, but I've had it for years and it's serving its purpose. Here's all my yard tools that I can't wait to get out of here. I need to get me a garden shed so I can put all of those yard tools in there. And again, the other side of the uh, junk storage area. And then the main section, this is the... Uh, table saw section I built that little cabinet underneath right there to house all my table saw accessories again that was built out of scrap things I just had left over from building everything else just put this new long rail system on here so I can do up to a 52 inch cut now on my table saw that's a 25 plus year grizzly table saw so I'm pretty happy with the fact that it still cuts pretty true just got to keep a nice sharp blade on it and then this Outfeed assembly table if you will. I built this too all out of scrap left over from when I built the cabinets Got some drawers on the front clamp storage got my wood vise on the front It's got the lockable casters on the bottom so that uh, it stays in place if you have to use that wood vise and you're planing something and it 
moves around an awful lot. And again, full extension drawer slides. Really, really happy with how this all turned out. Gives me this nice big work area where I can put things together, don't have to work on the floor. And as you can see, it just sits really nicely with the rest of the bench area. You can move that assembly table a little closer to the bench area if you need to. And it all just works out really, really well. Gives a nice little work area. So that's that's what I did during the pandemic. Like I said, I still have some things I got to do to the shop. The main thing is, is up here at the very top, you can see on both ends, the gables aren't complete yet. And also the top is still open and that's because I'm gonna hang a couple ceiling fans up there and I just haven't done that yet. And that is why that section over there is still open. And that's to make it easier to run the wires down to the power box. But once I get those ceiling fans put in, then I can close off this top and the ceiling will be pretty much done with the exception of some trim. If I get back and try to get a wide view here, you can see kind of the general work area of the shop outside of storage. So that uh, that's where I spend my time and I'm very, very happy with how this all turned out. And that's my shop tour.